Well, hi, and a big shout out to everyone here on LightroomKillerTips.com. Scott Kelby here with Mr. Terry White from Adobe Systems. Hey, Scott. How's it going? And uh, it's going great. I am here on the grid set, and this is the weekly photography show that we do every Wednesday at 4 p.m. live. It's East Coast time. And so we're doing the show today, and Terry does this tip, and the tip is for people. Uh, it's a Lightroom tip, of course. It's for people who don't have GPS in their camera. And he's he's saying it on the show, and he's, t he's answering somebody's question, and I'm like, I never knew that. He's like, oh, I've told you before and all, but I, it didn't sink in. And so I asked Terry if he would mind sharing it with you guys here on LightroomKillerTips.com. So the, the scenario is you do not have GPS in your camera, but you want to be able to use the GPS features like the map module here in Lightroom. So Terry, right. tell us. So most older cameras and even most DSLRs being sold today don't have a built-in GPS, sadly. Um, I shoot an icon, so therefore I can buy an external GPS, and I have. I have a few different models. But they're external, they require a cable or plug-in or sit in a hot shoot. You have to remember all kinds, how to, 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 you have to, remember to do it. weird things about yeah. external GPSs. If your camera has one built-in, awesome. But if it doesn't, this tip's for you. You know what does have a built-in GPS? Your phone. Your phone. Your phone, has, they don't call it GPS necessarily. They call it location info. And it's a privacy thing. You actually have to turn on or enable location info even for the built-in camera when you're taking pictures. So whether you're using the built-in camera or even better, Lightroom Mobile, when you're shooting with that camera, and if you've given it permission, it's geotagging every photo you take, which means it knows where you were at the time you took your photo. So here's the tip. You're, you arrive at a beautiful location, you have your DSLR or other camera that doesn't have a GPS on it, and you're shooting. You're taking all these great pictures, and you know people are going to ask you, oh, man, that was awesome. Where were you? Or you're going to go back later, you know, years from now and say, where was, that sh where was I standing at that time I took that shot because I want to go back or send someone there? Well, all you have to do, shoot all you want with your DSLR. But at least once, take out your mobile device, your phone, your tablet, whatever has GPS in it, and take one shot. That's it. Put, you can put it back in your pocket at that point. Now you've got one iPhone or Android or whatever you use shot with, G, with location information in it. If you shot it with Lightroom Mobile, even better, because now it's already synced back to Lightroom on the desktop. If not, then you can at least download it and add it to Lightroom when you get back to your desktop or laptop. So I've done that, I've got this set up right here. This is actually from Photoshop World Vegas. So this was me on stage with Johnny L way back in the day, years before um, I was even thinking about geotagging photos. And so I've got a few shots of uh, you know, the stage setup and what that was like. Well, I remember where that was. I remember that that was Vegas, but someone else might not. So later on, a few years later, uh, someone you know, used, the, used the phone and took this shot of me up on stage teaching in one of the theaters in the convention center. And this little flag lets me know at a glance that this shot has geotag information in it, this one and the other ones do not. So all I have to do to geotag the other ones is simply click the little flag. That will take me to the maps module and take me exactly where that shot was taken, or thereabouts. <laughs> yeah, that GPS. looks like the Mandalay yeah. Bay Convention right. Center this, in Las Vegas. Geotagging is never 100% perfect because of government restrictions. But anyway, I can now take these three photos that don't have the geotag information on them and literally just drag them to that same spot. And now all four have been geotagged, even though this, this image, if we go back to it, this image did not have a GPS on, this camera did not have a GPS on the time, on it at the time I took the image. It now has geotag information, so if I click on it, it'll take me right back to that spot. And by the way, you don't have to necessarily drop it on the same exact spot where the phone shot was taken. If you knew you were standing over here, drop it over there. So for example, if I knew, hey, I moved across the stage and I was now standing right here, right here that shot is now geotagged in that spot. So you can literally just drag images to where you, where you were to geotag them right in the map module here in Lightroom. And if you've got the phone shot, it takes you exactly where you were in one click. 
Awesomeness. All right. Well, Terry, thank you very much. And thank you guys for checking out LightroomKillerTips.com. Tell your friends about this tip. Tell your friends about Terry White at TerryWhite.com. is a good place to start to explore the wonderful wild world and of you, Terry White. And you can learn more tips about Lightroom from me at TerryWhite.tv. And Terry White is with Adobe Systems. You've been with Adobe Systems 20 years? Going on 21 years. And let's see if I get this right. You are a worldwide evangelist for design and photography? You got it. Boom. Boom. There it is. Thanks very much, guys. And also, don't forget to check out The Grid Wednesdays at 4 p.m. You missed Terry. He was my guest today, but, you know. At least we got a good tip out of him, huh? They can go watch the replay. True. True. <laughs>